The Citizens Coalition for Change CCC led by Nelson Chamisa is gearing up for elections scheduled for August 23. Chamisa is set to meet with CCC's chosen 210 parliamentary candidates. The purpose of the meeting is to develop an effective election campaign and fundraising strategy before the official launch, the date of which has not yet been announced. Chamisa and other senior officials within the CCC will meet with the party's chosen 210 parliamentary candidates to prepare them for what is expected to be a challenging campaign against the well-funded ruling party, Zenu PF. The meeting aims to equip the candidates with the necessary tools and guidance to navigate the electoral landscape. While confirming the meeting, CCC Deputy Spokesperson Kip Costados Ziziba declined to provide further details for the specific agenda. However, he emphasized that the party is actively preparing for the elections and will soon announce the date for the campaign launch. It has been reported that the CCC has imposed restrictions on its aspiring candidates and senior officials, preventing them from disclosing the party's campaign strategy to the public. This move is likely aimed at maintaining a strategic advantage and avoiding any potential leaks or compromises. The meeting takes place amidst allegations made by the CCC regarding the Central Intelligence Organization affiliated Forever Associates Zimbabwe FAZ, which is accused of sponsoring double candidacy by filing nomination papers under the CCC's name in multiple constituencies. The CCC has threatened legal action against FAZ and has raised concerns about the confusion caused by such duplications. FAZ, along with ZANU-PF, denies these allegations, asserting that they did not sponsor any imposters within the CCC. However, the CCC claims that fraudulent filings were made in several constituencies, including Harare, Bulawayo, and others. The party has expressed its intention to seek legal remedies to address this issue. In response to the well-resourced ZANU-PF campaign, CCC supporters both within Zimbabwe and in the diaspora are utilizing their resources and organizing fundraising events to ensure the party is adequately prepared to challenge the ruling party. Notably, United States-based activist Freeman Shorey has taken the initiative to organize fundraising events and launch an app called Citizens Agents to bridge the funding gap between the opposition and ZANU-PF. Meanwhile, ZANU-PF has provided its aspiring candidates with all-terrain twin cap vehicles to support their campaigning efforts. As the election date approaches, the CCC aims to consolidate its strategy, support its candidates, and mobilize resources to mount a strong challenge against ZANU-PF.